Marcel, here is another ES orbiter, but this is not the orbiter, it is? It is the filling station for the orbiter. Yo, let's take a look what it is. All right. A filling station, because the orbiter can be filled through the funnel and the G14 thread. Yes, it is, it is uh, provided with the orbiter a filling solution. So it is not necessary, but it's a very cool accessory. If you have like several orbiters yeah. or... So which, which product ever did have a own filling station, right? So this is uh, I can't remember something any. special. Yeah, I can't remember any of them. And yeah, that is... Uh, it, until now it looks like an orbiter. Yeah, <laughs> so, but the only difference is we don't have any handles here. We have to put it out like this. Yeah, you can... From the right and the left, uh -uh. below. It's not working. There's no... There's no turn uh, it, I'll put it on the top. Yeah, all right. Here we go. So yeah, that is the orbital filling station. This looks interesting, really. It is, it I'm is. I'm really indeed. eager to really look in every detail of this. So, so have a look, let's have a look. Let's have a look. It looks like a massive reservoir, maybe? Um, yeah, kind of. It has, it has a pump integrated, so it, it, it is moving the liquid. Yeah. Yeah, show it to me. Yeah. Okay, this looks good, and I think we will also unscrew it and look in the inside, right? Definitely, yes. Yes. So, on this side, we can open the orbiter filling station. Go ahead. It's only three screws. Yeah, because this, because we have an, um, a service entrance here. Yeah, this is like a service uh, area. It will give a big opening to look in the inside what we will see there. Yeah. yeah. Surprise! 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 <laughs> here we go. So you get you got to push it a bit up because of the lip here. Yeah. And so you, then you can enter really enter go. the the service area. Look in the inside, and what do we see here? So on the right side we got uh, two pumps. This is the VPP Apex from from uh, Alpha Cool. It is a D5 pump, a pretty, uh, yeah, very strong one. Yeah. And we got two of them. Um, it's like in line, so it, it the redundant system. If one fails, you still have enough power. Yeah, and and to, to have a bit more power to to fill the the orbiter. Yes. And um, what is this? This is a filter. This is a liquid filter. We yeah. got the, our TB, uh, TVP. Yes. This um, is again, this massive good tubing. Yeah. For mm. industry purposes, good. Mm -hmm. And then we got the filter. So your your liquid is got uh, is going to be filtered completely. You can you can uh, change the filter or the pumps. That is the the purpose of the um, yeah. The service opening is yeah. exactly like you know, you can unlock the filter here and get it out. Mm -hmm. and, and you can change it and yeah. yeah. And in the back we have a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> that no, is, it's what is it? That is not the mirror. That is a reservoir. Um, it contains about four and a half liter of liquid. It's, it's well, massive. Can, yeah, it is. Um, and I can see in the front. I can see your fingers. <laughs> yeah. So that is the, the the so you can see the filling level in the front. Yeah, and it goes um, from back to front. It is completely. Yeah, it's completely from from the back. Uh, you can see it right behind, yeah. behind the, the pump. Uh, and yeah, you got this uh, filling. Um, the, the, window the display, or, yeah, yeah. Or the, the window. So just we have the power button to start the pumps here. Yeah. And open this fill port. So you got a, a big yeah, fill port here. Yeah, big, like because if you oh. need if you need to uh, to fill about four More or than five three meter. centimeters or what is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, the kind of maybe maybe three uh, centimeters. One inch. About I think about uh, one yeah. inch. And um, yeah, if you if you need to, to fill about four and a half liters, uh, it would be uh, pretty pretty uh, hard with a with a. Um, yeah, with a one four thread. Yeah. So here we have then this massive, what is it? Handle. Called? Handle. Yeah. And it's it's really massive because imagine now it's already some weight, and if you put four and a half liters in it. Yeah, you 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 are uh, yeah you need to facing carry around uh, uh, <laughs> six six or seven kilos, I would I would assume. So yeah, you need a, you need a, a good handle to. Yeah, to, and uh, here we have inlet outlet. Yeah, that is a standard uh, one quarter inch um, yeah. fitting. It's the same as in the original orbiter. Yeah. And then let's take a look at the accessory box. Uh, yeah, okay, what we got here? Yeah, by the way, uh, where's the power? So how, where does the power go? It's on the uh, back? It's on the back, yeah, we got nothing yeah, on the back but the, the power, uh, but the, uh, yeah, power, power supply. Power plug. Okay. And, uh, this is the accessory box. Oh, this is 
a lot of accessories. Explain me what's <laughs> this. So yeah, we got we got our um, tra uh, tra travel power for supply. power supply. Um, that is a p two part. We got um, a bit of uh, TV uh, tubing, which is um, in, yeah already is it like two meters or even more. Or yeah, about uh, something about that. I don't maybe three uh, already. Yeah, um, and fittings. And this is of supposed to. Yeah, we got we got two fittings which you can already screw uh, into the inlet and outlet, so you don't have to to change it uh, yeah. uh, uh, every time. Because we got these um, these uh, quick connectors as well. Um, that you can you can just uh, apart uh, tear them apart, and then you can already uh, plug. Um, yeah, you can already attach. Like pre-mount it, and when you move from orbiter to orbiter, just only use the quick connectors. Exactly. Ah, that's nice. That's, so, that's a good. So idea. you don't have to screw in uh, the 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 fittings every time. Yeah. You can just uh, yeah pre pre build it and. So this inlet would or oh, the outlet goes to the inlet to the of fill. The Mm -hmm. Like fill from the orbiter, and then it goes from air to the in, and this sucks the air out of the orbiter, and this pumps water. Exactly. Into the exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a really, really fancy tool, and if you are using the orbiter, this would be definitely a good upgrade, right? Yeah, especially if you're using multiple uh, orbiters and you have to refill them uh, from time to time. Yeah. That is the perfect solution uh, to uh, yeah to refill it. Uh, properly. Yeah, I'm really eager to see some pictures or even comments on how people use this orbiter and the filling station and what industry purposes they are, will be running. So give us a feedback or send us some images and we'll see you in the next video on this channel. Goodbye.